Surprise! It's Thursday and I'm doing a live. Well, actually, it's because I got the new Amoco Flux glazes and I was just going to film this and put it up, but I thought it would be so much more fun to film it as a live unboxing so everybody could see the glazes. We could talk about them a little bit and then I will glaze them, but I will do that in a separate video. I'll probably record that and put that up for you guys, but I thought the excitement of an unboxing is so much better when we're all together. So Amico contacted me a little over a month ago asking if I wanted to try the new Amico Flux Potter's Choice glazes. Like, no, 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 I don't want to try those amazing new glazes at all. No, no, no. Of course, absolutely, I want to try the new glazes. So they sent them to me and here they are in the box. These arrived on Monday. I know, and today is Thursday. So I have amazing willpower. Actually, I'm just incredibly busy, so I haven't even had five minutes to open up this box of glazes. So imagine you have a box full of glaze and you don't even have time to open it up, right? That's how busy my life is. So we're going to do this live. That way you can all be a part of it. We'll check out the glazes in here and we'll see what's in the box. And then I have some bowls I plan to glaze with these. And I am going to use their glazes in combination with my own Celadons. So we'll see what their glazes look like by themselves. I'll do some test tiles with those. But then we'll also see what the Amico Flux glazes look like with my Celadons layered. And then you can imagine what they would look like with, say, Amico Celadons or another company Celadon. So. A little surprise for your Thursday. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. So it's got all these flux stickers on it and I'm really excited. First unboxing in the new studio. You know what I mean about busy, right? You're busy too? So busy. All right, so we'll go, we'll have to go into the close-up camera because we got some goodies to look at. So we got a little thank you note from Amico. It says, we're so excited to see what you make with our new Potter's Choice Flux glazes. Please feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions about the glazes. We are here to help. We appreciate your time and expertise. Love the team at Amico. Aw, I love the guys at Amico too. They're great. Let's see what else we have in here. Well, a little bit of little kind of confetti-y, sort of little little party thing. Um, we got a little little envelope here. Let's see. We got some stickers. We got an Amoco sticker. Oh, I love that. That's great. And some little stickers. I'm going to put these on my little tool cart. I got a little rolling tool cart here in the studio. I'm going to cover it up with some Amoco stickers. And then we got some t-shirts. Looks like we got a big one. Oh yeah, that's, that, that one's for Kev. That one for Kevin, one for me. That's why she asked for my t-shirt size. <laughs> so I'll be sporting these pretty soon. And we've got some more materials. Another little pouch. These are great for storing things in, underglaze decals, all kinds of things. We've got the Potter's Choice Flux. So we have a little brochure here. It looks like that is beautiful. That's gorgeous. Let's open it up and see what happens on the inside. All right, so we have the six Potter's Choice Flux. So this is on, in addition to the Honey Flux they already have. So they have Midnight Run, Honeydew, Citrus Flow. Wow, that is gorgeous. Flux Blossom, that's like a pink. River Birch has some little bits in it, so that's got uh, more color happening. And then this Moss Mist down here. And then over here they have some questions and answers, tips, tricks, and all kinds of things. And here's a little thing about the different clays. If you use it on a white stoneware, so that'd be like a B-mix. If you use it on a dark clay, that's on a black stoneware. And then on porcelain, you're gonna get a little bit brighter finish on that. And then on the back, what do we got here? Oh, we got some layering on top of others, uh, other glazes. You've got it on some Potter's Choice Flux over some Celadons, over the Chinos. Oh, that'll be nice. So this is a handy little thing. And then the 2023 
field guide. I love the field guides that Amico puts out. So it has a lot of great information, not just about glazes, but about application of glazes and firing and all different things. So this has more than just the fluxes in it. You know, it talks about their using their velvet underglazes, their Potter's Choice line, their Celadon line, and their Chino line. What else we got in here? Some talking about their clay. So this is kind of like a product catalog for, oh yeah, there's the chalk crayons, which we've used in Clay Share Con. We had a great demo. So there's the field guide. And then what do we got here? FAQs for Amico customers. All right. So you can purchase your Potter's Choice Flux Glaze from any local distributor. So here I have pints of them. This is the Midnight Run. We'll just stack them up here. Honeydew, Moss Mist. I do like that the images on the label kind of give you an idea as to what they look like when they're fired. That's handy. That one is that River Birch. Citrus Flow and the last one is Flux Blossom. All right, so as I drop them, good thing they're sealed. And then, you know, if you have a honey flux, you put it right here. So you got a nice little pyramid of glazes going on. So there we have them. Um, if you do not know where there is a Amico dealer, you can go to amico.com and look up dealers there. And that lists everything for you. So this is really exciting. Like I said, I have some bowls that I'm going to be glazing with these. I do have a few small test pieces that I'm going to use, and I'll do some glazing with those as well. But uh, I really want to see these on big forms. And since I have pints, there's no reason not to do bigger pieces. And I've got to do a glaze firing because, yeah, we made this last night together. I have to get this in the kiln. So I might as well glaze some bowls with these. And so I will share how that works. So using flux is the wear food safe. So these are just glazes. And if you look on them, it says right here, food safe, lead free. And it, the flux. So normally when we talk about fluxing in a glaze, it means it melts and runs a lot. And some people can be concerned about that as an issue for running and sticking the shelves. But as far as food safety, every glaze will have a label and it will let you know. So it does say it's food safe, lead free. And you can see that on, I'm just going to double check, but I'm pretty sure all of them are. Yeah, they all are. So every single one of these is food safe, lead free. It also means they're dinnerware safe or dinnerware appropriate. Sometimes a glaze will be food safe. And we talk about this in Clay Share, and I have classes on food safe versus dinnerware appropriateness. And you can watch those and learn about the difference between the two because there is a difference and it matters. So if you're going to make dinnerware, you might want to know the difference. I, you do want to know the difference. But these right here, food safe, dinnerware appropriate. So I'm going to use them on bowls because then I'm going to eat some ice cream out of it. That's the plan in, in my head with it. OK. Can you buy the set? Um, they might be selling them as sets. You have to check with your local distributor and see if they're doing a package. Amico sent me all of them because uh, Amico and ClayShare, we work together a lot. And you know I know they probably are sending them some other folks as well. So other people are probably going to get them too. So all right. Happy day off, yeah. <laughs> There's no such thing. You, you can't have a day off. So go to Amico. Dot com and you can look up dealers and find out who sells it near you. If you are in the upstate New York region, or I call it upstate New York, but if you're in New York, you know, Clayscapes Pottery on Syracuse, they have it. I guess it'd be Western New York, but you can get it from them. And I'm sure Clay King will have it. I'm sure Sheffield Pottery will have it. All the places that normally carry Amico glazes will have these fabulous fluxes. So what else? You guys got any other questions before we go? Because I got to work. I've got stuff to do today. You want them all. I'm going to talk to Amico about doing a giveaway. You know, I like it when they send me things. That's really great. I, I mean, who doesn't like presents? Everybody likes presents, especially when they come in glaze form. But I want to give some away. So I'm going to talk to Amico and see what we can do about a giveaway and see if I can get some of these glazes 
to give away to you all, like we did in May with Clayscapes. We gave away gift certificates to Clayscapes Pottery. Maybe you won and didn't spend it yet. Maybe you can use it to buy some of these Amico Potter's Choice glazes. That would be fabulous. Glaze Queen has, Queen has the set of seven because it's this six with the honey flux. Good to know. So let's see, uh, $120 is what Glaze King Queen, whew, don't confuse the two, the king and queen of glaze. <laughs> glaze Queen has them for 120 all seven. So it's these six and then the honey flux. Um, geez, should I do a honey flux test too? Hmm. Food for thought. All right, thank you everybody for catching the live with me. A little surprise on your Thursday. Uh, I will share these as they go through the process and there'll probably be a kiln opening pretty soon. So you're just gonna have to come back and see how they turn out and uh, see which ones are your favorite. I'm excited to see them all. I kind of, kind of have one I'm leaning towards, but you never know until they're out of the kiln. All right, everyone, take care, be well.